Welcome to the Now I'm Meg Turney. I'm Ryan Haywood. Watch out, pirates. Your swashbuckling exploits may soon be brought to an end by ransomware. Yeah, that's according to a new filing by Rights Corp, an anti-piracy firm that is well known for its aggressive stance towards pirates. This ransomware, called Scalable Copyright, is being touted as the next generation technology by the firm. And it basically wants to hold your entire browser hostage until you pay up some of your doubloons. Uh, per the filing, which was reported by Torrent Freak, you're first warned directly in your browser for engaging in piracy. But as you level up your piracy, the system will scale up and become more intrusive, eventually asking for your money. The filing states, single notices can be read and bypassed similar to the way a software license agreement works, but once the internet account receives a certain number of notices over a certain time period, the screen cannot be bypassed until the settlement payment is received. Ooh, that escalated quickly. Yes, it did. Uh, kind of a steep penalty for wanting to, you know, catch up on the latest season of Walking Dead or, you know, Play the latest game. This is a bit more aggressive than the types of notices ISPs have been sending to pirating customers in the past. Now, most of these tactics range from sending strongly worded emails to you to tell you to please stop downloading Game of Thrones to giving your browser notices like the ones that were suggested here. But this would be the first time somebody would actually ask you to pay ransom money to get your browsing capabilities back. It's kind of like getting one of those boots in your car for parking illegally. Just take the wheel off. Except, of course, uh, that doesn't keep or you from- Or drive with it on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That, of course, doesn't keep you from browsing the internet note, though, so it'd be way worse. Hmm. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Uh, ISPs certainly have the ability to pump your internet brakes for you, but would they be interested in what Rights Corp is selling? Of course, says Rights Corp. Yeah, of course they do. Yeah. They give us all the money, says Rights Corp. Uh, the firm says they've already had discussions with multiple ISPs regarding this proposed new practice and plan on intensifying those talks in the near future. Wait, ISPs want more money? Yeah, what? Go figure. Huh? Uh, they also believe that scalable copyright would be totally beneficial for ISPs because it will help them lessen their third-party liability when it comes to things like DMCA takedown notices. And right now, ISPs are required to remove repeat offenders from their service, or they can get sued. About implementing scalable copyright with internet service providers, though, Rights Corp said, we provide the data at no charge to the ISPs. With scalable copyright, ISPs will be able to greatly reduce their third-party liability, and the music and home video industries will be able to return growth along with the internet advertising and broadband subscriber industry. Everything will be perfect again. Yay, rainbows and butterflies. See, just buy our service and the internet will be fixed forever. Nobody will pirate anything and the home video market will be saved. It's so weird that we still call it home video. Video, by the way. I mean, you're watching it in your home. It's true, and, and it's video, but still, okay. <laughs> Before anybody gets too alarmed about losing those torrents to Davy Jones' locker, yes, Eddie, I see your pirate puns. Yar. There are a lot of barriers that would keep something like this from being adopted wholesale by ISPs. And it mostly boils down to ISP cooperation with Rights Corp. As heavy handed as ISPs may have been in the past about violating copyright, uh, making your own customers pay extra money and fines is some dark territory that they probably don't really want to explore. You know your policies are bad when even ISPs are like, hey guys, chill out. Rands of fees and fines are actually the backbone of Rights Corp's business to begin with though, so extending the model to lockdown browsers isn't really a big leap. Uh, yeah, at the moment, Rights Corp signs deals with movie and music studios to aggressively go after pirates. In the case of music piracy, they've been known to flood inboxes with hundreds of emails with copyright notices asking for upwards of $20 to $30 per pirated song. So, so the problem with Rights Corp is this. This type of tracking of customers and IP addresses requires some pretty heavy cooperation with ISPs, and they're not always particularly keen on it. Excepting the case of pirates sucking up all of their bandwidth, many ISPs are sort of hesitant to really crack down on pirates too aggressively. And that's because, well, everybody does it. I mean, yeah. Tons of people <laughs> pirate, and those pirates are paying customers. That's true, which puts them in sort of kind of a tricky spot when it comes to piracy. If they don't reasonably enforce anti-piracy measures, they can't hide behind the DMCA safe harbor laws, which protect ISPs from being held directly responsible for copyright breaches. Now, these safe harbor laws are the same ones that protect YouTube when they get hit with a billion dollar lawsuit by, you know, Viacom. No yeah. big deal. Yeah, I mean, just a billion. No, they got that. Yeah, that's no problem. Uh, for the moment, they get around this by uh, sending strongly worded emails to pirates. But if they send too many, you'll get labeled as a repeat offender, and then they have to terminate your service and lose a customer. And you know, God knows they really are desperate for money these they days. Need them customers. So <sighs> yeah, they don't even like sending those emails to you mm -hmm. guys. So being lax about it in the past has really come back to bite some ISPs in the ass. 
that's happened most recently. <laughs> in the case of Cox Communications versus BMG, who sued Cox for ignoring rampant music piracy by its subscribers. Yeah, this past December, a jury found Cox responsible for 25 million in damages to BMG for not taking reasonable measures to combat piracy. Guess who joined BMG in that lawsuit? <gasps> Is it Rights Corp? It was Rights Corp. Ah, it's all coming full circle. Mm. In a really shitty, terrible pirate circle. Uh, so while ISPs don't necessarily enjoy the smell of Rights Corp's particular brand of pirate justice, there are penalties for not doing something about piracy at all. Rights Corp's argument about scalable copyright is that it'll help ISPs stay protected under safe harbor laws and allow media companies to effectively stop pirates. Uh, fortunately for those plunderers of the seven digital seas, yes. uh, Rights Corp hasn't managed to get much traction for its uh, less aggressive tactics already. The company recently reported a net loss of $3.4 million in its 2015 financial data after a $2.85 million loss the previous year. Yay! They, of course, played in the rise of VPN and the uncooperative support of ISPs for their tough financial times. So for the moment, your pirate ships and browsers seem safe from Rights Corp's version of the club. Which is sort yes. of like that. What yeah. people used in the 90s. That's, well, yeah, yes. when you used to want to protect your car and it wasn't. You're too young mind. to know what it is. That's when we used keys. <laughs> uh, it's definitely something to keep an eye on, though. Thanks yeah. to recent ruling from Cox versus BMG, there's now something of a legal precedent for media companies to continue going after ISPs for their role in the nautical battle against piracy. As for the ISPs, they'll probably continue to walk the legal line as much as they have to until it stops being, you know, lucrative for them. And then pirates will be off the plank. Yar! <laughs> uh, so what what do you guys think of battling piracy with ransomware? Give us a yar or a nar in the comments down below. I'm so glad you got that line. For news on Torrance pirates and the companies that hate them, like this video and subscribe to the now. Yar! It's like Glenn Close. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> when he makes his leg all dead. <laughs> oh man. Not the poo box. No, no, not the poo box.